Yo, what's good, y'all? So Troll, and we're unboxing something today that I'm honestly really hyped for with, I don't know, how many times this thing got delayed with COVID and chip shortages and display paneling units that they had with this. Basically, anything that could have went wrong with this did go wrong, but I just got this in the mail from USPS, and now it's time to go in the boxes, so let's get into it. Alright y'all, so we're back here again at the Legendary Unboxing Table, and the hype is really here today, man. Like, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I've been waiting for this forever now. I want y'all to take a look at when I put my first deposit in. Like, that says March 28th right there at 8.53 p.m. Look at the date right now. It's August 17th. Like I said in the intro, it got delayed for so many reasons with COVID chip shortages, and then you had display panel units that they had issues with, and it was just a whole mess. But it finally just arrived in Wisconsin. It just came from DHL to USPS to, well, my front porch. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start the unboxing but I just want to put this out there that I've seen some people say on Reddit that they ordered this like way before me and they still haven't received their next stock so I'm not sure what's going on with this oh look at that I'm getting a call video call for Latrell it's from Kenny but with the next Doc 360, it's basically a product where you can go and convert your phone into a laptop with Samsung Dex or maybe a Huawei desktop or whatever the case is. So let's go and start this unboxing. So we got the next Doc logo here in the front. At the top, we just got a handle. At the back, we got the next logo. So next computer LLC. On the left, we don't really got nothing. And at the right, we don't really got nothing. So let's just go and get straight into this unboxing here. It's pretty simple. We don't really got nothing special here. And there is our next Doc. Finally, I got my next Doc 360. And this is actually my first next Doc laptop. So you're not gonna really have actual hardware in here like a cpu and all that it's just really it's gonna depend on your phone but all right let's keep looking inside this box here and as you can see we should have some accessories inside of this part right here besides that though that's it for the rest of the box let's go and throw that to the side here and now let's go and get this tiny little box open so if i'm not wrong i'm pretty sure with the older next doc models that they actually have more accessories in here but we do have a few accessories in this so we do have a usb a to usb c dongle which honestly don't look the highest of quality but it should get the job done we do have a pretty lengthy usb c to usb c cable so you can go and plug your phone into your next dock we got a type c to type c cable except for this time it's actually braided and we have an angle here we got a usb c power brick and if you look here at the side you can see that we got the specs and all that but if you go and times that together we got a 20 watt power brick and lastly you can even see here that we got a mini hdmi to a full hdmi cable all right so that is it for the next dock accessories let's go ahead and get into the actual next dock right here so it looks clean it got a little bit of weight to it let me go ahead and pick up my galaxy book s here and i think it's about the same weight as this the next doc 360 is actually a little bit heavier than my galaxy book s it should be about the same weight as my notebook 9 pro then so yeah pretty similar this is going to be a 13 inch laptop but you can't see here that we got the next logo here in the front and if we look here at the bottom we actually don't got that much so we got the next doc logo we got the model number and all that but besides that that's really about it on the left side though you do got your usb c port so that's where you plug your phone in or your tablet and then we have a mini hdmi port on the front you can see here obviously that's where you go ahead and just get this thing open and on the right side we actually have another usb c port we have a power button sd card slot we have a usb c port to go and charge this and then we got a headphone jack so now at this point all we gotta do is just go ahead and open this thing up and it's the next stock 360 which means we can do this put it in 360 mode so first impressions of the next stock 360 it honestly looks really really dope and it feels good it don't feel cheap at all and it kind of gave me macbook vibes here with the keyboard being all the way out here to the sides but you can see here that we do got some speakers here so we're gonna have to go and see how that sounds we got some led indicators here so we got our power we got our caps lock and then we got our trackpad off and on we got a bunch of media keys here at the top we have a next doc logo which is kind of like a windows button and then we got a pretty sizable trackpad which it don't feel the best but it do feel good when you click on it and we got a next doc logo here at the bottom right all right so just looking here at the screen we do have a oh i think i just turned that on by accident so you can tell there we do have power right out the box so i guess that's cool i'm gonna go and turn this back off for now and let me go ahead and see how i do that all right there we go but looking here at the screen you you can see that we got a little bit of a bezel so this is honestly pretty standard these days especially with that bottom bezel here like on windows laptops at least but it looks like we got a screen protector right here let's just go and peel that off and there we go but i don't know if you could tell this but we don't have a webcam out here which is honestly kind of unfortunate to be honest with you correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure older next doc models had a webcam but we don't on here all right now we can go ahead and turn this thing on here and as you can see there we did have a next doc logo when you turned it on for the first time all right so there we go we got a next doc logo now now it's going to go ahead and tell us to connect our phones here so it says next doc is ready to connect also it says swipe down here with two fingers to show settings so let's go ahead and do that then so just right here i guess 
no yes oh there we go so it looks like we got a volume we got a brightness we got a contrast i'm pretty sure that is let me go ahead and see here i'm pretty sure that is contrast we'll get our backlight brightness we'll go and look into the rest of this later but you can also see here that we got our battery light so now at this point let me go ahead and plug in my galaxy fold couple things to point out here though is that i want to go and show y'all that this does not actually flicker here and do this in real life that is only the camera i think the screen might just be a low refresh rate to be honest with you but we're gonna have to go ahead and see and also i'm gonna assume that the majority of the people that I ordered the next stock probably canceled their order because of how long that they took but we finally got one here we're still doing it here on the youtube channel let's go and plug in my galaxy phone here for the first time let's go and try it out here on this next stock 360 there's that samsung dex logo let's go so we're getting the usual yeah use a genuine samsung dex accessories yeah whatever whatever oh i'm gonna break my fold here but you can't see here that we got samsung dex here running at full effect so we got the touch screen that's working fine and if i go ahead and use a trackpad that's working fine too and i guess even if you wanted to you can go ahead and connect a mouse like you always could even without the next dock but yeah you can't go ahead and connect like i have a mx master 3 i can go and plug that into this now let's go and do a speaker test on this next dock 360 and then i'm gonna go and get out of here and by the way just something i want to go and point out here so you're not gonna get wireless decks on here which i really wanted because i don't really like plugging in my phone into stuff because i just like doing wireless charging but it looks like the only option that you got right here is to go ahead and plug in your phone into your next dock 360 all right so let's go and play some chucky beats and first impressions with the keyboard it honestly don't feel that bad so it don't feel like like great or anything but it still feels pretty good i don't really get that much of a complaint about it so let's go ahead and choose uh something like this now if you want to go and get the full effect out of this go and put it in your headphones because i recommend you doing that right now <laughs> okay i'm gonna keep it real with y'all that speaker is garbage. Okay, that's my fancy way of saying garbage. So as you can see here, I got the Fiji water. So we're fancy over here today. But that speaker, oh man, that was bad. I thought the Notebook 9 Pro and the Galaxy Book Flex was bad, but this is just a whole nother level. So I mean, at the end of the day, I guess to get the job done, but I, you're just really gonna wanna put in some headphones or a Bluetooth speaker or something. But all right, y'all, that's why I'm gonna go and wrap this up for today. So you can't plug other things into this, like a Raspberry Pi or like this Verizon Stream TV that I got plugged in right now, as you can see right there, actually. But so far though, I'm gonna have to give this thing the Jennings stamp of approval. Like, even with the speaker being garbage, I still think that's gonna be dope. But I think the biggest use case for this is like if you're in one house and everybody shares one laptop and everybody has galaxies, you can just go ahead and pass this around and like everybody get their own files and everything when you plug in your phone. I think this next Doc 360 gonna be dope for you. So go ahead and check this thing out. I'll go and leave a link down below if you wanna go and buy one. It's gonna run you a little bit of money though. I'm gonna be honest with you. So it's 309 bucks. So if you wanna go ahead and buy it, then go ahead and buy it. But just keep aware that it may be delays at the time you're watching this video i'm not sure if there's gonna really be any delays anymore at this point but i'm just letting y'all know but all right y'all thanks for watching if you like this video go and give this video a like and if you really liked it go and subscribe go and follow me on my social media at Tech on instagram and twitter and facebook but instagram and twitter is the most active and you know what honestly now that the brightness is a little bit down i can't actually see a flickering in real life so i don't know what's going on with this we may have a defective unit here folks i'm not really sure but i'll go ahead and check this thing out all right thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one and <laughs> Peace out. All right, y'all, so update. It looks like we got an issue here. It seemed like that flickering went away for a little bit, but then I just went ahead and put this in this 360 tablet mode and we had even more issues. Like it got even more weird. So there was a whole bunch of lines on the screen for some reason. I don't know what that was about, as you can see here in this video, but I went ahead and powered it off and turned it back on. And it seemed to fix itself, but I went ahead and plugged the phone back in and we had even more issues. So you can see here in this picture that I highlighted around those corners there, that's where that like kind of tint happened. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, it seemed like the display panel problems are really ain't gone away yet because I'm still having issues with this. Right now, though, it seemed like it's working perfectly fine, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have more issues. So looks like we're going to need a new replacement or something. And I can't lie to y'all, man, this thing feel like a beta product and I'm disappointed because I know I'm getting like the first batch of stuff, but still, we should have these issues. And also, I get they're a small company, but I paid 309 bucks for this at the end of the day. So I hit up their support. I guess we'll go ahead and see what happens after that. But right now, that's where I stand on this thing. I revoke my Jenny stamp of approval for this right now at least all right so quick update here i actually hit up next doc and they did reply to me here in this ticket so we're going back and forth in it right now i basically hit them up saying hey i'm actually having some issues you guys mind helping me out and they actually reply here telling me to go ahead and send them a link to the issues i'm having i made a reddit post about this so i sent them the link to that because for some reason the video wasn't uploading to their website so we did that and then now basically they're gonna send me a new one they said once we receive our inventory in the u.s around august 30th 2021 it's actually it looks like the 20th right now we will prepare an rma 
to return your device and it will ship you a new one. So now at this point, I gotta go ahead and go through all this, but I'll update y'all once I actually get more information on this. It won't be in this video, but it'll be in another video, so stay tuned.